Hello and welcome to Matt Parker's Mass Puzzles. I'm Matt Parker and the Mass Puzzle this time is a classic how old is person. And these puzzles have been around for a very long time. I was looking up some from over 100 years ago, but I'm sure they go right back into the 1800s, if not earlier. I've not done much research. If you find out, let me know. And these are normally something around like person A. If you add their age to person B, they currently add to 130 years. And A's age is twice what B's age used to be when B was one and a half times as old as A. How old is A? Something like that. That's not the actual puzzle, that's just an example. And you think it through, you're like, well, okay, well, who's older? Well, B was one and a half times A's age at the same time, so B must be older. But A is now twice as old as B used to be when B was younger, and then eventually you work it all out and you get an answer. We're gonna do one of those. I didn't want to just pick arbitrary names though, or use letters or numbers. I mean, big fan of using letters and numbers, but I thought actual names would make this more fun. So I went to the Matt Parker's Mass Puzzles leaderboard, and the top two positions are held by people named David and Anton. So it's gonna be a David and Anton puzzle. I know nothing about these people other than they're good at puzzles and they're enthusiastic at doing them. So their real ages are totally different, don't know. But for the purpose of this puzzle where I've just borrowed their names to create two new hypothetical humans, if you add David and Anton's age together, you get a total of 65. Here we go, David is currently three times as old as Anton was when David was half as old as Anton will be when Anton is three times as old as David was when David was three times as old as Anton. I wrote that down and I put it on the screen behind the camera so I can get it right. I'll put all the text in the uh, description below so you can check it out. And it's on the Matt Parker's Mass Puzzles page on the Think Maths website. So you can go and check it out there. And that's the submittable puzzle. You need to put in how old is David? So they currently add to 65 years total. How old is David right now if all of that. And uh, you can submit that on the website. As soon as you um, work it out, it goes live roughly at the end of this video. So you can get involved there. And I'm also curious how you can abstract these puzzles. Because obviously you can stack more or fewer layers, right? You, you can make them as convoluted as you want. And there's different approaches for how you solve them. And in theory, they would scale as you just add more and more of these ridiculous clauses. When I was making this one, I basically took other ones I'd seen and tinkered with them to see when they would break. And I didn't find all the limits of what you can and can't do with these puzzles. I messed around a bit. So for this puzzle, you could take out the bit where I say, if you add David's age to Anton's age, you get 65. So ignore that, that's no longer true. That's out the window, everything else still holds, that's gone. What if instead I had said Anton's age is a prime? Does that still work? As in, is that a puzzle? So it's a different answer, but as long as it's unambiguous and you can solve it, that would work as a puzzle. I wasn't confident enough that there would be a enjoyable enough journey to solve that puzzle though, which is why I left it in a more classic form. I also messed around with ones where so-and-so is pi times as old as et cetera, et cetera. So that's kind of the bonus thing. If you can mess around with these sorts of puzzles, how far can you take them? Uh, what can you tweak? And they're still technically a puzzle. Where do they break? And in general, how do you solve them? So if you solve the puzzle and you think you did it in an interesting way, or you think you've got an interesting way of explaining how you can solve these puzzles, then send it in to matpluspuzzles at standupmaths.com. I look forward to seeing what you do. And I mean, David and Anton, if you don't get this one right, that's a little embarrassing.